through the slaves of Allah who control their anger and also those who pray in the middle of the night and also those who make dua to be saved from Jahannam and also those who are financially responsible and also and also and also and also what about them? they are the ones that Allah will be giving them they will be compensated with very high lofty mansions they will be given palaces because of the sabr they had because of the patience they had what is Allah telling us? all of these qualities require what? sabr what does sabr mean? Sabr doesn't just mean patience, it means constancy. Let me tell you what constancy is because Ramadan is coming. Some people become very good Muslims in Ramadan, but they don't have the sabr to continue after Ramadan. You can have these good qualities, you can control your anger, but you say, I controlled it for like two months. I ran out of gas. And I went back to normal again. No. No. Sabr means when you take one of these qualities, it's for life. If you're able to make that a lifestyle choice, then these people get Jannah. بِمَا صَبَرُوا وَيُلَقَّوْنَ فِيهَا تَحِيَّةً وَسَلَامًا And they're going to be greeted. They're walking into Jannah and the angels are waiting there. And they're walking in, they're calling your name. Hey, Asalaamu Alaikum. So happy you're here. Congratulations. This is your palace. It has all of these entrances. By the way, there's a waterfall in the back. Go check it out. All of the, and they're giving you a full tour of your palaces and you're being greeted like a tour guide. Angels are your tour guides in Jannah. يُلَقَّوْنَ فِيهَا تَحِيَّةً وَسَلَامَ And when you go to an expensive place, when you go to like, you know, sometimes hotels look like palaces. You go spend how many nights in a hotel? One, two, it's expensive. And then you realize, I'm gonna leave here, but I should take some pictures before I go. It was nice. It was a nice Or you go to some beautiful island, or beautiful resort, vacation place. How long can you stay there? Just a little bit. You're being given this beautiful tour. Allah says, Khalidina fiha. They're gonna stay here. It's not temporary. This is your home now. This is where you live. Hasunat mustaqarran wa muqaman. This is such an awesome place to be temporarily and long term. Now the question comes, how come Allah mentioned, I understand Jannah, He mentioned long term. Why did He mention what? Temporarily. Short term. Why did he mention mustaqar? Hasunat mustaqarran wa muqaman. Afham muqaman. Al khulud fil jannah. Falimad al mustaqar. Because, because, if you make it to one level of jannah, Allah Azza wa Jal is giving you the option. It might be that He might upgrade you to the executive suite. Next level of jannah. So this home you have in jannah, as awesome as it is, might be temporary because Allah is about to upgrade you. And then you go, you go to the upgrade and it might be that Allah is again about to upgrade you again. And so there's an open, there's a door open in this ayah for Muslims. Maybe we make it, Jannah has seven levels, you make it to level one. Maybe the basement of level one you made it. But Allah is offering you over time, mustaqar, I'll give you even more, temp, more above and above and above. I'll keep giving you better, subhanallah. Subhanallah, it's, it's awesome. One of the descriptions of Jannah in the, uh, in the Quran we find is مَا كِثِينَ فِيهِ abada. In Surah Al-Kahf, Allah says مَا كِثِينَ فِيهِ abada. مَا كِث in Arabic means someone who's waiting for something and they're excited. Musa alayhi salam told his family, wait here. I'm gonna go see about that fire. Umkuthu. لَا لا انتظروا. Umkuthu. إِنِّي أَنَسْتُ nara. You stay here. When they're staying there, are they waiting excitedly? Like, I can't wait till he comes back? Or they're like, yeah, might as well stay here. No, they're nervous, they're excited because they're waiting for the next thing. Allah says in Quran, we will constantly be waiting in Jannah in excitement. You know what that means? Allah will give you fruit and you'll eat it. I'm like, oh, that was amazing. And then you're excited because the next delivery is coming. Then Allah will show you a palace and you're so happy. But then you're excited because the next palace is about to be shown. You're constantly going to be upgraded and this is going to happen forever. Forever. You can't go beyond iPhone 5, guys. You have to wait. You have to make lots of dua for 6. <laughs> you know? You got the Samsung whatever. That's it. There's, you have to wait till the upgrade. But you, in, a, in Quran, everything about Jannah will be upgraded and upgraded permanently. 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 You keep moving up. This is Hasunat Mustaqarran wa Muqam. I shared these ayat with you because I want to encourage you and your families to be Ibadur Rahman. 
Allah did not tell us, you have to do all of this. He said, at least do one of these. Give me one of these so I have a reason to call you Ibadur Rahman. Give Allah a reason to be called Ibadur Rahman. Give Allah a reason. You know? He is so loving and kind that he, he, instead of setting higher requirements, he lowers the requirements. He keeps, okay, you, don't, you can't do that one? How about this one? How about this one? How about this one? How about this one? SubhanAllah. And so many he gave us. May Allah Azza wa Jal truly make us Ibadur Rahman. And may Allah Azza wa Jal, you know, put barakah in this community, in the lives of the Muslims here. May Allah Azza